Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Sagittarius, today I'm going to channel your spirit guides and I'm going to tap into your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and what you don't see coming. Now, Sagittarius, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, Sag. See what we got going on for you. Wow, so you got the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Magician. You also have the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, the Five of Swords, and the Devil. So right now it's like, I just keep hearing there is a miracle about to be brought to you. So we're bringing you a miracle over and over and over again. We're bringing you a miracle. Whatever this miracle is, this is something that we want for you because it is the right timing. This miracle is something that you truly need, but don't know you need. So right now it's like, there's something that you really need, and it seems to be some sort of help some sort of guidance, some sort of, you know, someone entering your life at the right timing. And I just keep hearing when this person comes into your life, we want you to trust them. Don't at all second guess this. Believe this person. We're bringing this person into your life because they are meant to come into your life through divine timing. There's something that they're here to help you with. Now, it could be something even romantic or something, you know, um, you know, just even like a mentorship or guidance. But I do see here right now, Trust this person. Your intuition is going to guide you and, and let you know that we have sent this person to you. Be aware that we're intentionally bringing this person into your life so you're able to you know, uh, uh, accept them, welcome them, and learn from them and be in their energy. This is not an energy that we want you to dismiss. So right now, we want you to have full trust, full trust. We are the ones who are bringing this person into your life. We are the ones who see that you're able to, you know, um, ascend and really it's an energy that I feel that is so powerful that you and this person may even know each other from previous lifetimes. You know, maybe you guys are just part of the soul tribe. Right now you signed the contract said, hey, you know what? In the fifth dimension, we'll come here to the third dimension at a certain time after we accumulated lessons and learn from each other. But I keep hearing right now, invite this person into your life. Trust this person. This person is here to help you and guide you. You've asked for a miracle and we're providing it to you in a way where it, it's not always the way you want. Like for example, sometimes you're like, I want a million dollars, but then you meet someone that's like, hey, I want a company. You should come work for me and be, let's be business partners. Or you're like, I want to meet my soulmate. And the next thing you know, you end up getting a new job that somehow you and your coworker have, you know, things take off. But we don't, you know, we always answer your call. You know, when you want something, that's a desire. And immediately after desire, we always answer it immediately afterwards. Now, we want you to allow us to bring this energy to you. So it's ask, which is a desire, we answer. And then it's the, it's the allowing part. We need you to allow this to happen. And you allow this to happen by taking your mind off of what you want to possess, release what you want to possess, and focus it on anything else. Right now, allow us to do our job and bring you this miracle, but in the meantime, we want you to stay nice and busy, focusing on personal self-development and doing other things, and then we will, able to, we will be able to bring this person into your life. Now, Sats, before we continue your reading, let's jump into the energy of wealth and let's get some, you know, some, some wealth into your life. So write this down in the comment section, quantum entangle with this affirmation. Write down, I invite wealth into my life. Let the universe know you are ready for the energy of money and wealth, but you have to command, assume, expect this. So in the comment section, right now, let the universe know you're ready. I invite wealth into my life. Now, speaking of wealth, it's like right now, we want you to also understand that you got to strive for more, right? Reach for the stars. 
This is not a time for you to settle. This is a time for you to think big. It takes the same energy for you to think small as big. And right now we want you to think big. So rather than just tell yourself, I want to have enough money to pay my bills, I want you to think, I want to have enough money to buy a jet. This is not unrealistic. Anyone who you met who's an entrepreneur who made millions of dollars, they all looked at it from a perspective of aiming for the stars. And whether that's that promotion at your company, let's aim for promotion and a, a uh, bonus with that. Or wh whether that's you know starting a business, let's look at it starting a business and being able to hire lots of people and you know put yourself in a different tax bracket. But we want you to think big right now. We want you not to think small. It takes the same energy to think small as it does, as it does big. It takes the same energy to think negative as it does positive. So instead, put the energy towards more of a positive thing. I just keep thinking, I just keep hearing, Think big, think big, think big. Now you got the six of swords and the five of swords. So right now, we want you to know that the brain fog or the confusion that you may have is only because you don't trust yourself and you don't trust yourself because you are second guessing your heart. Your mind is telling you one thing and you're listening to it, but your heart is telling you something else. The heart is how we speak to you. The heart means your feelings, your instincts. Your mind cannot be trusted. Your mind will come up for any reason why it should or should not do something. But we gave you instincts so you can feel what to do next. Instincts is how you speak to the creator, to source, to God, to the higher power. Instincts are what we gave every single species on this planet to be able to you know, decipher and have the, the guidance, the yellow brick road of what they should do. Listen to your instincts. Right now, what are your instincts telling you? We are guiding you on your path. We're not telling you to overthink anything. If you have a decision to make and your mind is telling you to you know, do something, but your heart's like, I don't know if we should be doing this, that means that it's not the right thing. You need to have brain and heart coherence for us to be able to provide whatever it is you're looking for. So for example, if you want to move to a new house and your mind is like, yeah, I think we should do this, but your heart's like, I don't know if this is the house we should be going to. It doesn't feel right. It's not the right house. But the moment your mind is like, should we do this? And your heart's like, yes, absolutely. That is the right house. And that is exactly how we're able to guide you. So feel what to do next. Now you got the six of cups and you have the ace of wands. Right now, I keep hearing, pay attention to your inner child. Pay attention to your inner child. Right now, I do feel like you feel like there is some sort of karmic debt that's developed and you're having a hard time releasing that energy. And right now, your inner child is telling you it is okay. You have done nothing wrong. If you feel like you've done something wrong, it, it, you're not perfect. You're here to experience stuff. Some of it's contrast. And right now, you got to understand that everything that happened in your life even though it may not have been perfect, was necessary for you to be where you are in your life right now because you, you collected so much data, so much experiences, so much wisdom and knowledge. And now by having this experience is the whole reason you're on planet Earth. Now, accumulating this energy, we're able to bring you new opportunities because you're ready to close the chapter on the past. So right now your inner child is telling you it's okay. You have nothing to worry about. Don't be scared. You did nothing wrong. Everything is absolutely fine. We're, you know, like we, we aren't perfect. We're here to learn lessons. We're here to learn lessons one time. We don't want to be learning the lessons over and over again, but don't be hard on yourself because you know, we weren't perfect because you're not meant to be perfect. You were meant to be you and you're meant to not to be hard on yourself. That's the only thing we don't want. All right, Sagittarius, let us pull a final message from your spirit guides and we'll use the animal spirit energy to be able to do so. So let's see. What is the final message from your spirit guides? Look at that. Right now it's dolphin spirit and they say this and that are true. And I keep hearing you are who you feel you are. Right now the only thing that's important is you feel as if what you think. So your emotions need to match your expectations. So it doesn't matter if something is real or fake. We could care less. The universe can care less. We don't care whatsoever if something is real or fake. The only thing we care about is if you think it's real. And we prove this through the placebo effect. For example, when someone takes a sugar pill and they tell them that it cures diabetes because they were told it does and they think it does and it cures the diabetes, that is definitive proof that we are showing you that you can change your metabolism, you can change your energy, you can change your destiny by being able to have the power of your thoughts harnessed. So right now, the only thing we ma that matters to us is how you feel, how you perceive something. So don't tell yourself this isn't real, this is fake. There is no real or fake. Right now, the only thing that's real or fake is how you look at the situation. So right now, look at it from an empowering feeling. That is what we want for you. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time. 
Chat to you.